welcome to another nerdy Thursday. I got a sip of beverage here. It's a nerdy Thursday morning for me. Uh, so I'm trying to wake up. Uh, today we're going to be doing another box opening. I opened it, took it out of the package, didn't have a loose one this time on top. Here's some small ones rattling around in there. So I probably will be hitting up Etsy. Uh, but before we get started, I just I played some of the ones that I had last time. I told you I would and do a little review on it. Uh, this one here uh, is called Kung Zoo, I think. Yeah, Kung Zoo. Made by Activision, licensed by Nintendo. Uh, ages for everyone. Sorry, I had to get my cheater out. Uh, 2010 published. No case. I have to get a case for this. I find them on Etsy. Uh, played this. Uh, not too bad. Just got a little repetitive. It is a kind of a Metroid type Castlevania cross. You can pick different characters. Different characters do different things. You have to unlock the characters uh, physically in the game out of cages. Uh, and it's a, a little bit of a beat-em-up as well in there, which I, I really enjoyed. Uh, so, and it's with different, like, kung fu, and it's different animals. Kind of cutesy. It wasn't hard. A little bit of a puzzle game. Had a little bit of all that stuff in there. Uh, just got very repetitive. But I did spend quite a bit of time at the laundromat while doing clothes. Playing that. Thirsty this morning. Should be drinking water. But I need my coffee. And I don't like coffee, so I drink that. This one, disappointed. I might have to put more memory into my... Uh, my handheld because this game would not run and I was really excited to play just by the looks of it. Code name Steam. Uh really excited to play that. Couldn't my my system crashed every time to, to play it. Next is the Shima or Chima uh Lava's Journey Lego. Uh it's a Lego game. Very this one was an exciting had a little dialogue in it. Wasn't as funny as like Batman's or Star Wars. Wasn't funny at all. Uh, just continually breaking stuff, collecting. If you're a grinder, like collecting things, this is the game for you. I got bored with it really quick. I finished two levels. It had like one, uh, one thing that I had to figure out. Uh, it, it wasn't hard. Uh, again, if you're a grinder, uh, play it. It's for you. It wasn't for me. Deal or no deal. Did not play this. Did not waste my time with this. We all know what this is. If I don't like the TV show, I'm not going to play the video game. thought the video, the game show was boring. Didn't, under, didn't really like that at all. Uh, Played this. Wow, did I love this. Hot Shots Golf. Uh, this is something that I've kept in my, uh, with my system uh, in my carrying case. Took it on my vacation. Uh, quick, easy game to play. Like golf games for that reason. You just kind of play the game. Um, typical golf game. A uh, little cartoonish, but not bad. It actually, the physics in it are pretty good for being a PSP game. And then at last and least, not least, the least was the uh, probably the Lego game. Siphon Filter, Logan's Shadow. Did not like the controls in this. It was really hard to, uh, to shoot first thing you're in a, a helicopter shooting people on the deck of a, of a boat um, people were taking a boat over uh, pirates very repetitive very quickly 
and I got killed by him several times. Um, the stick physics and all that just didn't work too well for me. Um, not as well. I played other cipher filters, a lot of fun, more sneaking around, stuff like that. Really like those. But this one, you know, I might try again at a later date. You know, I got a lot of games to play. I gave it a try, and it's got to knock me off my feet early on, uh, kind of like Hot Shots Golf did for me to keep playing. And I mean, the Kung Fu one, I might put back in Kung Zu or whatever. Uh, this one will probably, I don't have a DS carry case yet. Uh, I have a 2DS, but I'll probably put that in. So in that 3DS, that game crashing, I guess the more red on it for 2D or for the 2DSs, it's kind of a common thing. I'm just wondering if I'll put, I don't have extra memory in there. I wonder if I put extra memory, it will run fine. But that's something I need to worry about. I do have an extra one for my, my, uh, my other Nintendo for my, uh, Switch, geez, couldn't get the word out. Uh, Switch, and I, I think it'll fit in there too, because Nintendo is pretty. What I like about Nintendo is pretty universal stuff, and things fit in each other. So let's get this open and see what we got this week, this month, for the video games monthly. So first off, uh, I have mostly handhelds. Uh, so first off, I have a PlayStation. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, so that's not gonna be bad. I can't read because how the UMD is made, it's hard to read what the name size matters. Kind of being loose, it's kind of scratched up. So I got a loose one here, not angry at it though. Oh, I do, I have a two up, so I got two extra games so trying to think only non-held held handheld i have is dreamcast and i think when i did it before i only got two dreamcast games the whole time uh video games monthly and i got a floyd coaster so not bad thank you video games monthly i do have a new chair coming today so i can set my game room back up two chairs and a table and a microphone. So I got a 3DS, the trash pack, the gross gang and the garbage. Never seen this one before. Uh, it is sealed. Taking out the trash has never been so much fun. Looks like maybe Almost like a Pokemon game. Pokemon style game is what it looks like. So, you know what would have been cool? If they would have put a card, a trading card or something. If that's one in there, that would be pretty cool. It looks kind of like uh, Garbage Pail Kids meet Pokemon. Okay. <laughs> Hot Shots Tennis. They need to get, get a grip. Uh, I do like Tennis games as well uh, for the PSP. And we'll, we'll check that out, see how that is. Probably easy play. Another sealed game. They must have hit a lot of warehouses. Usually when it's sealed, it's not it's either been overproduced or just didn't hit on much. Or it was made at the end of the console's uh, run, and it just sat on the shelf because it was a new console. So this is Brooktown High, another game I've never heard of. Love is a game. How will you play it? So this is a kind of a matchmaking game. Uh, looks a little teenish. Uh, it, it looks like something that... Uh, I can't remember. Bratz, I think, looks like the same type of modeling. Um, I'm sad that I know that. Uh, I want to keep this week and last week's side. I don't, 
get confused on what I'm playing. Ooh, a little bitty game. Witches, vampires for the DS. The Secret of Athena, maybe? Dark writing on a dark background. Little words under the vampires there is what I was trying to read. Never heard of this game either. I love this type of st things and like reading books and movies. So hoping the game doesn't disappoint and is kiddish. Uh, DS surprisingly has adultish games on it. So uh, some Resident Evils and things like that. So let's see. That is uh, three... That's, that's my five games, so I should have two more in here. Yep, two more. They're upside down, so I still couldn't see them. DS games. All of them lose, so I'm going to be buying some packaging. Uh, man, <laughs> my old eyes, they, they're they like a 51-year-old. The Infinity Toy Box Challenge. So I'm hoping I don't need the, the, the actual toys for this. It's a 3DS game. Um, I like, like, Sarge's Army and things like that. I've not played an Affinity game. Uh, I'm hoping it's kind of like that. Toy Box games. I have one on the computer as well, which is pretty tough. Tough, tough game. You got to figure out how to set up your, your battle lines. It's, it's a tough game. I'm actually stuck on a level right now. Let's see here. Last one. Jin Jin. Nintendo DS. So it's volume one. A lot of Asian writing on it. I don't know what Jin Jin means. There are so many. I am very new to the DS world. I picked up the console at, uh, so a uh, store was going out of business. You know, when stores go out of business, they the the third party that comes in and, and does the controlling the prices, a lot of people don't understand that a third party comes in once you go bankrupt and go out of business. They come in and do their pricing. So everything gets put back at S, original SRP. Then they do the discounts. So what you want to find is like new stuff, newer things. And they had two DSs that were still new, still new to the world. And I picked those up, me and my buddy, both. He picked up one for him and his kids. I picked up one for myself. And that's how I got into the DS world. I'm not a huge Nintendo fan. I'm kind of going back little by little. I have a, a Retro 5. I think that's what it's called. So I can play NES and Super NES. I have a Super NES uh, with some pretty good games. I bought that in a lot back in Iowa. Me and my buddy would split that. Uh, but anyway, Jin Jin for the DS. Uh, so I have three DS or shoot, three loose DS games, a loose uh, PlayStation game. Two put PSPs and a DS, a 3DS game, which I hope runs. Like one of my 3DSs ran last time. I think, yeah. And then one did not. So there you have it for this week's Video Games Monthly. Now, one thing I wanted to show, tell you is like, okay, how close did I come to, to breaking even on my money? And last week, I got to say, I was really, really close. I was $2 off. Uh, they got me for $2. Now, I did get a one extra to get to that level. So I'm trying to, like, watch. So this time I got two extra games. Is there's two extra games going to get me to that $50 mark? I think it will by looking at them. No major. Uh, unless one of them is a surprise, like one of these games... Like I said, in a gaming world, 
it's not the popularity of the game. It's the rarity of the game. And that could be due to several different reasons. So the game might not be fun to play, but the rarity of the game. A lot of times it was made at the end of the console's run and they only ran like one uh, thing of it. They didn't run multiple uh, printings of, of those games. So the rarity is there. Uh, or the game just didn't sell for a lot of times. Uh, some of these games don't have the money behind it to do the ad work and everything like that. Uh, especially back in the day where video games monthly like had like the, the, the magazine or something like that. Like I used to get it uh, and a lot of, you know, people in the gaming world would get stuff like that. And you would have to put print ads in. Because we didn't have, we had a computer, but social media, Twitch was infancy at best. Uh, people playing video games just for other people to watch was very, I, I don't even know if that was even a thing. Maybe, like I said, infancy. Uh, but, you know, we're in a different world now. So that stuff you can get pay those people to play but you still got to have money to back the games it doesn't matter so a lot of these indie games and things like that might slide through the cracks and that's the rarity games this is the point i'm getting to so with that being said that's my that's how i want to do this i i want to get a uh a thing that i can share gameplay with y'all um you know like i said it's for me to play, it's got to be an attention grabber. Uh, I can usually tell in the first little bit if it's something that I want to dive into, a game that I maybe want to complete. I haven't got one last week. Maybe this week will be one that I want to complete. Play more, maybe. Complete is a different story. So until next time, like, share, tell a friend, and we'll... See ya.